Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new here, please stick around because today we're doing a van tour of Big Red. Starting off from the back of the vehicle, you can see that we've actually added this board, uh, which actually serves a couple of purposes. One, it actually acts as the support for the, the rear cushion with us having the, the U seating arrangement. Two, we can store our toilet tent and our benches in there. If we unbolt both sides. You can see the whole back folds down. And as you can see, once it's folded down, it's actually quite a nice place to sit. And if the dogs has been out in the lake, then it's actually a good place to get the dogs to jump up onto there, and it's easier to get them dried off with the towels. We actually have our portaloo just stored in this rear section. The rear section is actually designed to lift out. So we can actually have just two benches down either side of the van. This side of the van, this opens up for storage inside. And the other side, the lid lifts up for storage underneath. The lid also lifts up on that one as well, so we have the full size of the bench in there as well. So as we step into the van as well, show you around. I think it's time for a couple of first. So now we've got the coffee on the go, let's carry on with the tour. So the first job that we've done was actually fit the diesel heater. We fitted this underneath the driver's seat and fitted the diesel tank to the side of the unit. This actually just made it a lot easier for myself. Um, it means also when I pull into the fuel station to get the diesel, I can actually just lean into the side door and top that tank up as well. The next job we've done was actually add a swivel base to the passenger seat makes a massive difference and actually makes the van seem a lot bigger than it actually is, giving you much more room. Next job was to fit the fridge. We actually got this fridge from Amazon, £299 I believe. I think it's a 58 litre and also lockable. All of the units was built with 12mm plywood and also the MDF panelling. So this drawer underneath the hob, uh, excuse the mess, it is quite full at the moment. As you can see, we can get quite a bit in there. And then that catch just secures it. The drawer underneath the sink is just a false front of drawer. The cupboards, we have our fresh water and grey water tanks. The diesel heat vent comes out just underneath this centre cupboard, which makes it perfect for warming the van up. And also when the beds is made, it actually pumps the heat out underneath the beds. The top of the unit, if you've seen the other video that we've done on the van build, this was actually from a dining table. So it was a solid oak dining table that we managed to get. Um, and obviously we just cut the top to suit. The hob and the sink were both bought from Amazon. Um, I believe the hob was around about £99. Not sure we're on the price of the sink. This was the purchase that the wife wanted. Um, I'm sure it was a lot more expensive than she probably let on, but I must admit it does look really nice. So I'm really pleased with that. Looking on the side, we have a wall bracket to mount our iPad, which acts as our TV. We have all the, all the channels on there, Netflix, YouTube, um, iPlayer and everything else. So that works great. We also have the camper van rules. 
across there we have the carbon monoxide alarm and we have the digital system for the heater. As you can see in the roof we have the um, touch spotlights which go on and off at a touch. We have storage pockets on either side of the bed just so we can put bits and pieces in, mobile phones and stuff. And then obviously we have the seating units. Making the bed up is quite a simple task. So we just start off the venter there. Job done. Anyway, I think that's quite a good spot to end this video. If you've enjoyed the band tour, um, please like, subscribe, all the good stuff, leave us some comments, any questions, and um, leave them as well. We'll try and get back to you. Until next time.